folks, this is Jess with Bluegrass Homestead. Wanted to give a quick garden update. We've been working really hard, so I didn't show the whole process in the video, but I just want to show you guys what we have going on right now. So we're going to start off in the garden. So we have peppers in this room. And a few more peppers right here. We have sweet peppers and we did banana peppers. At the end of this row, you can see where we've got our tomatoes. That's the start of the tomatoes. And all the rest is tomatoes. We have yellow Germans, Romas, best boys, better boys. So we've got um, large beefsteak style tomatoes. The Roma tomatoes are a really good paste tomato. Excellent for sauces. We are doing well with those. I'd say we have about 150, 160 plants in the ground. And Stephen's going to come out here later. We're going to clean up this row over here. We've got one more row of tomatoes to do, and he also wants to get all of his onions in. So we've got a lot going on. Here I've got some cucumbers coming up, but these are sunflowers, and my sunflowers did very well. There are some zinnias over here we got our stark brother strawberry order in so i have about 55 because i got some bonus ones 25 26 early glows and then i got about 28 to 30 i stopped counting about 30 of the sure crop strawberries so and this is what we're doing for next year and the year after because um this is the time of year when they'd be bearing fruit so we're planting planting these for next year um unfortunately lumber prices being as high as they are we're not sure if we're going to build grow boxes or uh, some vertical system where they can grow up and out we'll work on that but for now i needed them planted in containers where they had plenty of room to grow and uh, they wouldn't get over crowded the roots wouldn't bind up that have plenty of food we're gonna keep I'm gonna keep feeding them as they grow and uh, when we can get to doing the grow boxes we will get on that got a couple of trays of early round Dutch over here also I planted the new um, red dwarf or dwarf red robins and they're like tom tom tomatoes they're the, they're the little tomatoes that you can plant and sit in a pot and they, they're determinate so they don't get very big but they produce loads of little cherry tomatoes so i'm um, trying those out this year i've got two trays planted my daughter planted some of her own for herself so she could give it a try um and we're going to see how they do and hopefully they'll be ready for farmer's market later this summer and other people can try them out so um, we also had a lot of freesia, um, rudbeckias, and these are daylilies, and there's like, they were pretty large, so there's one in each pot. Um, we actually have a lot of daylilies on the property already, but they were on sale at Rural King, and I thought, hey, why not? Um, so we are planting as many. I don't have a lot of flowers. I don't do flowers. This is my first year trying flowers. I really wanted to do a good job, and all of these are butterfly bump honeybee hummingbird friendly plants so we're going to get these guys planted up um let me show you some more i got real quick before i do my other plants these are the stark brothers trees my husky's over there chilling he's probably hot i'm gonna get him cooled off in his kitty pool this these are um two apples and two pears and we have them potted right now because we really want to get a we want to get the space that we want to pick them out for, for them. We want to get that planned out really well. Make sure that the irrigation is good and work on the land first. But for now, I think they're doing really great. And then these are all muscadines. And they aren't um, growing any greenery yet, but the roots are down in there. Working hard, strengthening up the plants. So we're very happy. My new favorite spot. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Um, I ordered on Amazon because I got a wild hair and I thought, hey, let's try this. Um, on Amazon, you can order groupings of six plants and I got one grouping that is, oh, it's rosemary thyme, lemon balm, and oregano, and it comes with a lavender. Um, let's see. Yep, there's my rosemary. This is my oregano. 
oregano time. Let's see. Yeah, there's the oregano. And so it comes with six plants. So I ordered two sets because I ordered one set with the variety pack. You know, six different plants. The other one I got, straight lavender. So I have seven lavender plants. I'm really excited to learn all about these plants and to start um, harvesting lavender and using it for different things. I know lavender can take a long time to um, settle. Again, with the price of lumber being what they are and us trying to decide about grow boxes and how we're going to do this, um, they are in pots. They're very happy right now. They're not too big. They're not outgrowing their containers yet. So we're going to try to keep them happy as long as we can. But I love this little, this little setup. Up here I have Bleeding Heart and uh, Nephophia. Again, trying to plant more bee-friendly, butterfly-friendly, hummingbird-friendly plants all around the property. I want to make sure there's some more bleeding heart. Those are the root sets coming in. Okay, bleeding heart. So those were on sale at Rural King. Like $2 for a bag of the roots. And so I couldn't pass it up. And it's a chance to learn more about growing things and varieties. I'm so used to doing vegetables and canning and jams and jellies. And I thought I need to learn how to 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 work more with the herbs and also some of the plants that are just purely for nature around the property they're not for me they're for them so that's what we got going on working hard here well, thank you all for sticking with us uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon we'll keep you updated if you have any questions throw them in the comments if i don't know an answer we're going to find out together because i need or I love to have new things to research. So if you come up with a question I don't know the answer to, that's just an opportunity for me to learn something. Um, and if you already know the answer, I appreciate wisdom that I do not have. So please comment. Leave me some info. We are working very hard. we got a lot going on. Uh, the way our land is laid out, we don't have a greenhouse because we're um, a high elevation. So there's a lot of wind here. Um, the good thing about it though is, is when big storms come through, they kind of break up and, and go around us a little bit. So we get rain, but we don't get slaughtered by horrible storms. The downside though is all the wind. So the layout of the land is very different. We're going to try to do some things low and to the ground. Well, that requires wood. Lumber prices are pretty bad right now. And we only have a car. So, um... A truck is definitely something we're trying to, um, what do you call it? We're trying to financially afford. So we're trying to work out how we're going to do that and what we can get. And we want something reasonable and runs, but nothing. I don't want a $46,000 Jeep truck. As cute as they are, <laughs> that's a lot. It's just, I'd be afraid to work with it. I'd be afraid to use it or drive it. Somebody might dent it and I'd be mad. So, um, so definitely we're trying to uh, balance out how we can afford a truck or something. We need to be able to haul lumber. We do farmer's market. Here we're about to we're about to explode with some produce, big time. Um, so it's going to take multiple trips in the car, but we're going to do what we can um, until we can do more. We got to grow uh, where we're at. We got to you know be happy with what we have, be happy with where we're at, and grow where we can. So I think we're going to work on, um, there's a, a hill behind me over here on the other side of the driveway. We're going to cut that out some. Stephen wants to do some terrace gardening. We still have pumpkins and watermelon and squash to plant. Um, so we're going to navigate the landscape as best we can so that we can get as much done as we can. And it's food for our family, food for our neighbors and friends and our community. Um, anything we don't sell at the farmer's market, we're going to be canning it here. We're going to be making a lot of pickles and salsa and uh, Italian tomato sauce and jams and jellies. And, and in the coming years, we're going to have our orchard. These apple trees will grow. These pear trees will grow. These muscadines will grow. And we can just keep on growing more and doing more and 
uh, Lord, we're so busy right now. It's a full-time job with this. And the kids are learning so much. It's so good for them. Daphne's growing her own tomatoes right now. She's super excited. She's got a little spray bottle. She can water her little baby seeds. You know, I'm teaching her as much as I can because I want them to be involved. And I know it's slow going with kids. It's difficult. you got to talk them through everything. But it's worth it because here in a few years, she won't need me. If she really won't, she'll learn it. She'll figure it out. She'll probably figure out things I didn't think of. So I look forward to that. I look forward to those days when she's teaching me. So I hope this video finds you all having a great week and a great weekend. Be blessed. Be safe. Um, check us out Facebook, Instagram. We are doing a lot. Trying to, trying to keep up with them postings. We work so much, though. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to pick up that camera and do anything. But check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Please go to goingoffgrid.shop. Um, I have a coupon running right now. I think it's 15% off of particular items that are on our Instagram. I'm working on the Instagram. I have a hard time tagging the products um, because I'm using an app system that helps build the postings and it doesn't automatically tag. So I'm trying to keep up with that. Um, but I'm trying to think. Go check, but going off grid dot shop camping gear, tents, cast iron, cookware. I have some local stuff that's uh, made in Kentucky. Uh, some of the bourbon barbecue sauces, um, lots of different stuff that's that's made in Kentucky. So I'm really happy to have gotten gotten those products on there. Um, we have headlamps. Um, the cool, the fire starting kit for kids when you go camping, it's literally the stick and the rope and, but it's got all the instructions and the how to, and it's a learning tool. It's really neat. It's like a little craft project. I love it. Um, but you guys got to go check it out. Um, just browse around and if you have any feedback, send me an email. I'm totally cool with it. Um, I don't get any feedback much and I need it. I need to know what you all think. I really care about what you think. So let me know. Going off grid shop. Our email is in are about um, on the YouTube, but it's um, J Kaiser Homestead at gmail.com, J K I S E R Homestead at gmail.com, and we'll take questions um, or comments, whatever you want. Well, leave a comment below, too. That's probably the fastest way on YouTube. Just go ahead and leave a comment. Um, give us a thumbs up, share with friends. We're doing everything we can here, We're working hard. And uh, we'll have an update for you soon, hopefully. Check us out on Bluegrass, Homesteads, Facebook. We've got Farmer's Market picks. Cool stuff going on. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye.